My name is André Nicolas Chenet. I am a scientist member of the team developing the public access to the extremely large telescopes and a researcher in astrophysics at the NSF Snow Lab. Magnetars are the most magnetic objects in the universe. Magnetars are basically neutron stars. Neutron stars are the end result of the death of stars, stars that have to be massive enough at the end of their life so they would explode as a supernova or have something like the collapsing of their core into a very compact object. They all have magnetic fields, except that some of them, maybe 10% of them, have an extremely large magnetic field. And we want to understand why and how come they, they, they ended up in that state. For uh, the sake of astrophysics more specifically, um, magnetars are one of the elements that are part of the life cycle of some stars. And understanding which stars uh, and how much time does it take to become a magnetar and why do they become a magnetar is very important. The first time this star was studied, there was a lot of mystery to uh, solve. So this star looked a little bit like a group of stars that is called the Bophorus stars. There are very few of them in our galaxy and in galaxies in general, and they are thought to be massive stars or to have strong winds. But this one was unlike any other. A friend of mine who uh, spent some time in trying to understand better what's behind that star did some models and said, I might have the solution to explain everything. So he said, what if there was a, magnetic, a strong magnetic field around that star? Uh, he was absolutely right. We had observation from a spectral polar emitter on the telescope Canada France Hawaii in Hawaii on Mauna Kea and discovered that the magnetic field was extremely strong, strong unlike any other star uh, of this type that we have observed before. So we think that this is a prime candidate to becoming a magnetar. <laughs>